in the name of Allah, the most compassionate, most merciful. Allah reassured them, Have no fear, I am with you, hearing and seeing. So go to him and say, Indeed, we are both messengers from your Lord. So let the children of Israel go with us, and do not oppress them. We have come to you with a sign from your Lord, and salvation will be for whoever follows the right guidance. It has indeed been revealed to us that the punishment will be upon whoever denies the truth and turns away. Pharaoh asked, Who then is the Lord of you two, O Moses? He answered, Our Lord is the one who has given everything its distinctive form, then guided it. Pharaoh asked, And what about previous peoples? He replied, That knowledge is with my Lord in a record. My Lord neither falters nor forgets anything. He is the one who has laid out the earth for all of you and set in it pathways for you and sends down rain from the sky, causing various types of plants to grow. So eat and graze your cattle. Surely in this are signs for people of sound judgment. From the earth we created you and into it we will return you and from it we will bring you back again. And we certainly showed Pharaoh all of our signs, but he denied them and refused to believe. He said, Have you come to drive us out of our land with your magic, O Moses? We can surely meet you with similar magic, so set for us an appointment that neither of us will fail to keep in a central place. Moses said, Your appointment is on the day of the festival, and let the people be gathered mid morning. Pharaoh then withdrew, orchestrated his scheme, then returned. Moses warned the magicians, Woe to you! Do not fabricate a lie against Allah, or he will wipe you out with a torment. Whoever fabricates lies is bound to fail. So the magicians disputed the matter among themselves, conversing privately. They concluded, These two men are only magicians who want to drive you out of your land with their magic and do away with your most cherished traditions. So orchestrate your plan, then come forward in perfect ranks, and whoever prevails today will certainly be successful. They said, O oh Moses, either you cast or let us be the first to cast. Moses responded, No, you go first. And suddenly their ropes and staffs appeared to him by their magic to be slithering. So Moses concealed fear within himself. We reassured him, do not fear. It is certainly you who will prevail. Cast what is in your right hand, and it will swallow up what they have made. For what they have made is no more than a magic trick. And magicians can never succeed wherever they go. So the magicians fell down in prostration, declaring, We believe in the Lord of Aaron and Moses. Pharaoh threatened, How dare you believe in him before I give you permission? He must be your master who taught you magic. I will certainly cut off your hands and feet on opposite sides and crucify you on the trunks of palm trees. You will really see whose punishment is more severe and more lasting. They responded, by the one who created us. We will never prefer you over the clear proofs that have come to us. So do whatever you want. Your authority only covers the fleeting life of this world. Indeed, we have believed in our Lord, so he may forgive our sins and that magic you have forced us to practice. And Allah is far superior in reward and more lasting in punishment. Whoever comes to their Lord as an evildoer will certainly have hell, where they can neither live nor die. But whoever comes to him as a believer, having done good, they will have the highest ranks. The gardens of eternity, under which rivers flow, where they will stay forever, that is the reward of those who purify themselves. And we surely inspired Moses, saying, Leave with my servants at night, and strike a dry passage for them across the sea. 
have no fear of being overtaken, nor be concerned of drowning. Then Pharaoh pursued them with his soldiers, but how overwhelming were the waters that submerged them. And so Pharaoh led his people astray and did not guide them rightly. O children of Israel, we saved you from your enemy and made an appointment with you on the right side of Mount Tur and sent down to you manna and quails, saying, Eat from the good things we have provided for you, but do not transgress in them, or my wrath will befall you. And whoever my wrath befalls is certainly doomed. But I am truly most forgiving to whoever repents, believes and does good, then persists on true guidance. Allah asked, Why have you come with such haste ahead of your people, O Moses? He replied, They are close on my tracks, and I have hastened to you, my Lord, so you will be pleased. Allah responded, We have indeed tested your people in your absence, and the Samiri has led them astray. So Moses returned to his people, furious and sorrowful. He said, O my people, had your Lord not made you a good promise? Has my absence been too long for you? Or have you wished for wrath from your Lord to befall you, so you broke your promise to me? They argued, We did not break our promise to you of our own free will, but we were made to carry the burden of the people's golden jewelry. Then we threw it into the fire, and so did the Samiri. Then he molded for them an idol of a calf that made a lowing sound. They said, This is your God and the God of Moses but Moses forgot where it was. Did they not see that it did not respond to them, nor could it protect or benefit them? Aaron had already warned them beforehand, O oh my people, you are only being tested by this, for indeed your one true Lord is the most compassionate, so follow me and obey my orders.